just love I, I i i feel like i'm jaded in these series i i really do because if you didn't watch the grinding montage which you absolutely should because they're fun to watch people seem to enjoy them but as you can see arceus has taken the place of um borb because borb unfortunately died to an ampharos like I was about to be done with the training. I wanted everybody up to level 30 for this trek to Veilstone. But uh, apparently, uh, an Ampharos just decided to explode. I don't know what happened. I don't know what move it was. It looked powerful, whatever it was. But it absolutely did not kill anything beforehand. I trained Naruto and Milf Tank on that route. Nothing ever happened, and these two were underleveled. But for the most part, Milf Tank could hold its own. But Naruto was weaker. <sighs> So yeah, that happened. Uh, it freaking exploded, um, or whatever. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage um, if I remember to add a note in there. Because honestly, it's 8:19 p.m. Uh, this was supposed to go up earlier today, but I slept until five today. So that's not fun. What's up, everybody? It's Lester Bridge Pink here, and today we're back with another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, or whatever it is now. Now it's just randomizing the abilities and the moves. Uh, um, it feels, it's felt like a while since I recorded this, probably because it has been. Um, so, let's have a look at the team right now. Everybody is level 30 across the board. That was my goal for today. I don't know what Veilstone's gym leader will, will have. I don't know if we'll get to her today. We should be able to. 
but uh, there's not a 100% on that. Um, so here we have Arceus the Crobat, which evolved from our Sphero. Um, Sphero evolved a lot earlier than I thought it did. Uh, bold Nature. Um, higher attack than special attack, because I think Bold lowers... Doesn't Bold lower special attack? I'm pretty sure it does. I'm, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Dragon Call Flash, Protect, and Aura Sphere. Um, then we have Grow Vile, the Leafeon holding the Zap Plate. Brave Nature. Um, Insomnia. Tailwind, Thunderbolt, Secret Power, Leaf Storm. I really wish I could get some physical moves on this thing, because these are not doing the trick. Though Secret Power does it, but still. You get what I'm saying. Naruto the Nine Tails, Naughty Nature. Um, Hyper Cutter, uh, Fire Blast, Haze, Force Palm, Gravity. Um, Milf Tank the Mill Tank, Careful Nature, one of our, <laughs> one of our fossils. I believe. Yep, it was one of our fossils. Synchronize, um, with that, <laughs> rocking that very high spe um, attack. Uh, dragon Rush. This thing is an honorary dragon type. Like, I'm going to say that our MILF tank is an honorary dragon type. Uh, dragon Rush, Roost, Dragon Rage, and Safeguard. Florida Man, the Fur Alligator, Naive Nature, um, Poison Point, uh, Power Whip, Muddy Water, Rock Slide, Dragon Dance. Love this moveset. Cheddar the Pikachu, who isn't pulling as much weight right now as he really needs to be. Hopefully we'll find a, uh, maybe a Thunderstone or something. I don't know if you can buy Thunderstones or what it is in this game, or if somebody gives it to you, but if not, we may not end up finding a Thunderstone at all. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Brave Nature, Gluttony, Signal Beam, Heat Wave, Cosmic Power, and Crush Grip. And now it's time to head on this route. Um, so here's the thing, is that it didn't is that it occurred to me to maybe... Hold on. First, let's check our healing items real quick. Because I don't think... Yeah, we need something. Let's actually get some Moo Moo Milks, because Moo Moo Milks are pretty good. One dozen. Alright, so that's good for right now. Um... Route 215. Okay, so I it occurred to me to finish off all the trainers as part of the grinding here, but I felt like moving too further, too much further ahead. I already battled this guy, but I felt like you guys wouldn't like it if I moved too far ahead um, in this game. Like, if I cleared out the route and just made it a straight shot to Veilstone, I feel like you guys wouldn't like that because sometimes trainers provide surprises that you don't expect, and, uh, well, of course, you're not going to expect a surprise, but I feel like trainers offer an interesting thing, even though I try to, I, I it's, it's kind of weird. Can you guys, like, comment, like, down below, like, what, like, what you would prefer if I were to battle the trainers, like, on the, on the route we're about to go to beforehand, or if you want to see me battle my way through the route, because sometimes I do end up avoiding the trainers if I just want to get to the next city, um, if I'm a little rushed, or whatever, but... I don't know. I feel like that's that should be up to you guys. Um, thanks. Thanks for Thunder Punch. With your tiny little spike arms. I don't know. I just feel like that's something that uh, I want to know. Like, what, what would you guys prefer? Would you prefer me to... Would, would you guys prefer me to beat the trainers on, like... Like, let's say I beat the trainers on this route. And... Um... And then just, it was a straight shot to Veilstone. Would you guys like that? Lava cookie. Okay, not bad. Ah. We got a- we- our, Garatina was our encounter on this route. My only- my only thing about Borb dying, like, the only good thing that really came from that is the fact that we do have a Crobat now, which is pretty nice. Oh boy. I don't like this thing. One of the main things that I that I worry about is um Okay, so the reason I kind of sounded rushed whenever I started this episode is because this episode is going to be a little rushed. I'm going to try to make it same length as, as everything. 
but I was stupid and I woke up at five and I was just like, oh, well, I'll get to it. I don't know why I sent Nine Tails out in the rain. Um, oh, well, yeah, Force Palm. Um, I'm just kind of like, I'll get to it whenever I get to it. You know, like, good thing that wasn't Water Spout. Um, I'll get to it whenever I get to it, but like, I could not afford, I need at least like four hours between like recording and uploading because for one, let me, let me, let me put you to, put it in perspective to you what my upload, what, what my, what uploading, the process of uploading a video is for me. Now, I'm going to say that I did not expect to sleep until 5 p.m. Because I went to bed at 3 a.m. last night. Uh, but I, I just haven't been getting a lot of, like, rest except for whenever I sleep until 5 p.m. And that's happened for, like, three days this week. So, let me, let me just give you a little perspective of what go, uh, of what goes into recording these videos. Um, so, we start out with the actual recording of the thing. Which, it's pretty simple, like, you know, straightforward what I'm doing right now. Take about 40 minutes, report, uh, re record the video. The whole process is pretty simple, I'll say that. Um, I mean, it's just recording and then editing and then boom. Well, for the Nuzlocks, they're recorded. Um, what I do is I actually put my layout into OBS rather than making it my, uh, rather than, like, taking the footage and just and, and editing it into the layout in post. I don't know why, it's just a preference of mine. Uh, so then what I do in post is I, uh, um, you know, I take everything, I take the audio I recorded with, um, Audacity, uh, because I, I record, I now record my game audio, which is not on right this second. I record my game audio and my, um, and my voice audio separately. So that's why sometimes you may notice that in my videos they're a little desynced. Um, but yeah, first I have to apply, you know, like, um, Jesus Christ, what is happening? Does this thing- oh, what? Okay, that was weird. Um, I have to apply the audio, apply noise reduction to the audio because one, my family, and two, it's just like my noise, my house is like really noisy for some reason. Um, which is simple. Uh, then you gotta export the audio, which takes maybe two or three minutes, like depending on like the length of the audio. The whole audio editing process takes about two minutes, maybe. Um, so, and the video is already exported and everything because that OBS just does that automatically. Um, and then I go into Lightworks, which I'm going to have to move from Lightwork of Lightworks eventually if I do decide to keep making episodical content. I'm I'm gonna need a better alternative to Lightworks because honestly, it's a little cheap. I mean, like the thing is, is that. It's obviously it's cheap because it's a free software unless you buy a license and I don't have the money for a license So I'll just have to get an alternative later on a Draco plate nice But I throw everything into lightworks and next what happens Is that oops Move Uh, I need to come back here with a cut sleeve. Smoke ball, nice. Wish I could use that run from trainer battles. I'll just take these on one at a time. Uh, so I put everything in. Sorry, I'm like trying to talk to y'all and focus on the episode at the same time. Um, don't know why I sped up for that, but anyway, my my thought process is kind of everywhere right now. If you couldn't tell. Um, I put it in, uh, I put the audio in, I put the video in, make sure it's all synced up and stuff. And I have to also edit the layout as I go because um, it's kind of, because all the Pokemon and the badges and the death counter and everything I have to edit on the side. Luckily I just keep like a save file that has like all the content in it, like not a save file, a uh, you know, like a project file that has all the content in it, and I just uh, take out the effects and then replace as I need. And you know, it's pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too, nothing too major. Um, 
And I also, you know, take up the badge counter and everything, change Pokemon as needed, download the uh, shuffle, like, sprites and everything. Um, and that's pretty easy. Uh, that's pretty simple. And it takes, depending on the length of the video, and also depending on the depending on the complexity of the video, like, meaning, like, how long the grinding montage is, because usually grinding montages are, will be 10 to 30 minutes, and that's, like, a really big, like, it'll, it'll add a few minutes to the, to the time it takes to export the video, um, because naturally a 20 minute video is gonna, <laughs> not gonna take the same time to export as a 30 minute video, especially whenever you're adding all the, uh, sprites and everything to the sidebar, that takes a while to export. Um, so it'll take maybe, like, upwards of an hour. So already we got maybe almost two hours, like, down on the whole, down on the whole recording process. And then it comes to uploading. Now, uploading is kind of an interesting aspect of the recording process, because, um, for some reason, my... My internet is extremely fickle. Like, okay, so I have a PC. I don't have an ethernet cable uh, hooked up to it or whatever it's called, you know, where you plug the box directly into the uh, thing. I think that I'm saying that right. I'm thinking that I'm thinking of the right thing. I don't have that hooked up to my PC, so I don't have, my internet isn't as fast for me as it could be. Uh, that'll get, that'll be changed whenever I get my office, and I don't know when that's get, getting set up. We're talking about having it ready for my 19th birthday, which is in, two, three weeks, three weeks, maybe I want to say. Um, um, but the thing is, is that sometimes, like, like most of the time they're, it, it's pretty cooperative, I'll say. Like most of the time it's, it's fine. Like it'll take like maybe 30 minutes to upload, which is fair for about a 40 minute video. Which is usually how long- that's usually the amount of time I go for on these videos. Um, at first I was kind of loose with how- with my schedule for how long I wanted these videos to be, but I think 40 minutes is a pretty decent time. 10th of these videos I think that's that's probably my middle ground that I found it's not it's not exactly an hour but I'll go upwards of an hour depending on like if something's interesting is happening or like depending on what series it is like for shorter series like oh hmm <laughs> my luck my the absolute luck There we go. That sucks because it was stab as well. But I mean, Cheddar wasn't putting in a lot of work, so I'm not too upset about Cheddar dying, but it does suck whenever one of your Pokemon that you know you put hours into dies for no good reason. I uh, just- I'm, I'm cursed with this. I'm cursed. I swear. I'm cursed with these Nuzlocke series. Even though I found two shinies back in Sweet, but we're not gonna talk about that. It was only because it was taking forever. <sighs> Bye, Chatter. By the way, the guy at the catching center wanted a Yanma, but I didn't think it'd be fair to use any of my retired Pokemon. So I just didn't. Damn, Cheddar's been there for the longest time. Who do I even replace Cheddar with? I'll just... Uh, I don't want to... Oh yeah, we're about to get another encounter, so hopefully that'll be decent. Oh, also there's the Porygon! Wait, 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 wait. there's a Porygon. Okay. So if we get a Raikou to uh, replace Cheddar, I will name it Mozzarella or something. Something cheese related to give tribute to our fallen warrior Cheddar. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my internet sucks for the most part. But I mean, like, it's not too bad considering, you know, it's like a 40 minute video. And uh, yeah, it's... 
not really all that bad. Okay, where is this guy? He gives you a Porygon or something. He's in one of these houses, I believe. Thank you. So, sometimes, just randomly, it'll, like, take three hours to upload, which is why I get so panicky. Uh, which is why I get so panicky whenever it's getting to, like, 8 o'clock, when I'm like, oh crap, I need to record a video, because it's like, could take, like, three hours. Thanks, I don't need it. And there's a dude that's supposed to give you a Porygon here, isn't there? Or am I just, like, imagining things? No, I swear, I swear there's a dude around here that's like, Oh, here, take this Porygon, and you're like, oh. No, thanks, your hidden power. It's somewhere in this city, and I know it is. Maybe it's, like... Maybe it's, like, post-gym? Maybe not. Something tells me it isn't post-gym. Yes. Is it a Porygon, though? Ah, yes. Completely and utterly something that I- 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 I'm so happy. I- I can't believe that I've been blessed with such a- with such a wonderful Pokémon. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna name it Cat. Like that construction company? Isn't that- Isn't that what that's called? The- the- the one construction company? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, there's also a Pokemon at, um, that we can get. I don't think we can get any encounters in Veilstone, but... I know that there are encounters southward that we can get. A part of me is so curious about what that would have evolved into that I, like, if I do get a Thunderstone, I do want to use it, but at the same time, nah. Cat. Look at these Pokemon. Look at Evergreen! I'm going to sing Charloid by Sherlight. Oh, Rebecca Jeannie. <laughs> Don't you forget all the trouble we got into. Does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shat? I love, I've always loved this song. <laughs> Well, how many Ultra Balls do we have? Do we have any Great Balls? Pokeballs? Okay, I'll take 10. Um, Earbud. Let's not go out right now, Earbud. That's the last thing I want. Because something just so utterly pisses me off when my Earbud goes out. Like, it just makes me so irrationally angry. It's just like, really, of all things right now. Not my Earbud. Just one little thing. I- I believe... Can you buy a stone? Because... What is this? Hello, I sell poffins. Um... I don't think that this is a thing in Pearl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it isn't. But, like... I remember reading about it because it's, like, so easy to, like, evolve, uh, Phoebus in this game. Because you could just go ahead and buy berries and stuff. I'm just taking a shopping trip. That's it. Ha ha, a counter for a counter. I was seriously thinking 
um, doing of doing a no dam uh, like not a no damage run, a no Pokemon Center run, which would suck. But I, I don't know something about it. Like, oh my god, it's Splash, Gunk Shot. That's that's not bad. Uh, remind me that these are here. Iron Tail, Leaf Storm, Sitch what the fuck? That's that's actually really good. These are some good TMs. Um, Munchlax doll. Okay, is this just polka dolls? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are just polka dolls and things for your secret base, which is a feature that if they remake Gen Four, they um if they remake Sinnoh, they need to put that in. What y'all two doing? Sticky Barb. Two buff- Two buff guys standing side by side. That's all. What's the problem? Uh, that's Jojo for ya. Shop loyally here for years. Now they consider me a regular. Ha. Huh. So yeah, they don't sell, um, stones and stuff, which sucks, but... It didn't hurt to give it a shot. I probably should have looked it up, haha, uh -huh, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Cause I'm too damn stubborn. Okay. So I guess what we will do, what we got out of that, is that we're gonna go to this route right here and catch a Pokemon real quick. And I believe that we can catch quite a few Pokemon if we keep going. There, behind you. Bitch. Moral of the story about what I was saying earlier is that is that, uh, I, I need to have a better recording schedule. <laughs> I was trying to- my plan was to try to record two episodes a day, but, uh, two episodes of, like, respective, like, things a day, like, so, like, so, like, uh, today I should have recorded- if I would have been on schedule, I should have recorded, like, uh, this and, um, Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, which I might do because that's actually going to be something that's going to... That might uh, actually end up screwing me over. It's probably going to take longer to record, to be honest. Let me go back. Um, because, you know... Because it's gonna- because it's probably gonna be the finale, and, some, and a lot of the times finales end up longer because I have to do the Elite Four and everything, and then sometimes I have a feeling that no matter how good my Fire Red Rocket team's gonna be, I'm gonna get blown back. Which I have been working on it, by the way, so I should finish up- should finish that up tonight, even if I don't record. And, uh, I should go ahead and get, um, go ahead and record Fire Red Rocket, um, uh, because I certainly have the means to do so. Okay, what's in here? Ruin Maniac Cave. Dream Eater, cool. Okay, so this is our Ruin Maniac Cave encounter. I'm sure, sure that this, this can survive a Dragon Claw. I'm sure this can survive a Dragon Claw. And it definitely did. Okay, I'm not gonna hit it again. Can you believe that shit? It just roared me. For fuck's sake. Alright, so Route 214 it is then. Pearl. We're playing Platinum, not Pearl version. Okay, that's fine. And I'm sure this can survive a Dragon Claw. That's not a critical hit. The audacity. The absolute audacity. Move the fuck out of my way. And he just has a Baneri to taunt me. 
Get away from me. I'm not having this shit right now. Okay, Valor Lake front. Absolutely nothing's gonna go wrong here. That's Dukes. Okay, okay. Let's see what this thing can survive. Since, you know, I was wrong about it being- that being able to survive, though. Oh, Dragon Rage. That'd be good. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, thank god it survived. Okay, it is smart enough to hunt in packs, so it uses a variety of cries for communicating with others. Um... Uh... You know, even though it's female, I'm gonna name it... Cooch the J. Okay, there it is. Cujo. I can't remember. In the book, is it Cujo? Does it have a J? Does it have an H in it? Or does it... Or is it just Cujo? In a case, in case you guys are like, ew, ew, you're making a JoJo reference. No, it's not. It's a Stephen King reference, you fool. You absolute buffoon. So yeah, I'm not that cringy. Okay, let's see here. Route 213, and you are from Valor Lakefront. Okay, Route 213. Um, can we actually get an encounter here is my question? Spooky plate. Well, that's good. We're getting a lot of plates. Is that, is that a teaser that the real Arceus is on his way? Arceus hath come. See incense, nice. Alright, you know what? Let's fish here. Press the old rod. We do have an old rod, yeah. I was like, what? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm totally not stupid. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna put MILF tank up front. Okay, I need to stop speeding up. I'm just trigger happy with it. And y'all know this about me. I'm just trigger happy. I'm not patient at all. Okay, so this is our encounter for this route. Okay. I'm not even gonna hit it with anything. Um, and you may be looking at this thing and thinking, oh, wow. Why? It's awful. It's actually not awful whenever you take into account it evolves very soon. So, we're gonna name it Lucky and hope it evolves into something that is uh, not sucky. I didn't even mean to make that rhyme, but it did. Just gonna sneak past these little kids. Um. Alright, and this is... Yeah, and that's not anything we can catch. So we'll just head to Pastoria City real quick. And we can catch something here as well. I don't even need to heal. And I'm not ready for that battle with Barry. Holy shit, like... That's not gonna work out for me very well. That was- that what I just said made zero sense. That's not going to work out very well for me. I'm trying to remember where any gift Pokemon are, like... I don't really think there's any, like... Like, there's Porygon, there's Eevee, you know, there's your starter. I don't even consider your starter a gift Pokemon, even though it technically is. I just- I just, like, it's your starter. Like, it's not a gift. I consider gift Pokemon being, like, mid-game. I could... Not many people end up doing that, and I don't really think I have the patience nor the funds to do that. Um, get something from um, the uh, game corner. 
And but the problem with getting shit from the game corner is that it takes a lot of money and or well, it takes a lot of coins, which takes a lot of money unless you want to gamble. And honestly, I ain't gambling. Hey, come on. You, you want to does something want to bite my rod? That sounded a lot more suggestive than I wanted to, but like can you bite my rod, please? Do, do, is there, do you just not get anything in here? What the hell? Okay. Well, there's a, actually just a few things I want to check. There should be a hidden item around here, if I'm correct. Hold on. Full incense. Nice. And I feel like there's a couple of hidden items around here, like... Oh yes, this song. I was listening to this song, honestly, um, while I was grinding. Like, and I listened- you know those, like, extended versions that they have on YouTube where it's like, 30 minutes of so-and-so. Yeah, that's- It'll be like 30 minutes of relaxing Pokemon music. Well, it was well, it was just Route 209. I think that's it. I think that's what this song is called. Lumberry. Thanks. I really wanted Lumberry. And the only reason I know why there's so many hidden items here is because whenever you're looking for rare candies and you just look it up. Honestly, even though Pokemon challenge videos were, you know, it's kind of a dead thing now and. At least for smaller creators, anyway. I I did learn a lot more about the games. Like, about items and stuff. And I have learned to be a lot more careful. Even though my Nuzlocke skills don't reflect that. Can you please? You're supposed to get a Pokemon in one of these. Hey, can you look away? Thank you. You just think about rare candies more and stuff. Oh! <gasps> Okay, uh, this is not actually a great encounter, but, I mean, it's an encounter nonetheless. Um, because, I mean, it doesn't evolve until level 55, which is something that is not good for us, but whatever, I'll take it. Oh, and we don't even get to evolve it. Ew. 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 Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna name her Limbo because that's what she's stuck in. She's not. She's not gonna become a T-Tar anyway. But <sighs> that sucks. As I was talking about earlier, about like going on routes and stuff and like battling trainers before the episode like this route is an unnecessary route at least i consider it one toxic orb do we have a guts pokemon because if we do that'd be great or like anything i used to think i was the smartest bitch because i like make it made up like a set like like a Pokemon set, just like whenever I was trying to get into competitive, I was like, oh, well, let me do a, uh, let me do a Toxic Orb, uh, Gly, Gly, Glyscore, uh, Fling set. I thought, I thought that was so big brain. And I mean, kind of is, but it's not like, it's not like great. It's not the most viable thing on the planet. But it is fun. It is fun to use. Like, you just get excited about sets. Like, whenever you're like a noob, you kind of get excited whenever you come up with a good idea. And you're like, I am a big brain. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys ever got that. Ah! OBS, why? Shh, shh. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Shut up, shut, shut the hell up. <laughs> shut up. I clicked the wrong thing. Oops. Shh, shh. I meant, okay, so for some reason, in my pea brain, I wanted to get it back to this screen, right? With uh, with all my Pokemon showing in the bottom. 
And for some reason, for some ungodly reason, I thought that clicking that would help me. Clicking that bottom screen would help me, even though what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to click the, um, just click the one on my desk mume. And, uh, that's unfortunately not what I did. Soda pop, thanks. So now that's off kilter. I'm so sorry about that. I'll fix it for the next episode. A little disappointing, but... Hey, not everybody can ask for a great encounter. Come on, get in my ball. Okay, yay. Flutters its wings to scatter dust like scales. The scales leech toxins if they contact skin. I don't even Janine. You can tell the ones that I don't like particularly care about. I give like the like kind of like in eh names. I'm naming her Janine because of Koga's daughter. What's her name, Janine? Fuck, I don't even know. Like some of these, I just like give like the shittiest but most hilarious names to, and the other ones are like, ah, here's a legitimately thought out name. And then those end up. I can't even catch anything. Like. It's not what I just caught, so I'm just looking around for items or whatever. I hate- Who- who thought a bog was a good idea? Staha! This is so annoying. Hey, Whooper. Actually, isn't Whooper supposed to be here? Fist plate? Where is Arceus? Speaking of- I could probably give one of these plates to, like... Because we just got two plates today, didn't we? Spooky plate. I don't think we have a ghost- any ghost-type moves. Uh, but... Naruto gets it for right now. Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this function was a good idea? Because most certainly anyone with half a brain would look at this and be like, hmm. You know, probably getting a, somebody stuck in a mud every in the mud every two seconds was not a big brain play. But somebody at Game Freak was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Let's every two seconds. Oh my god. And like, see, the worst thing is that I'm sped up. So like, you can see how incredibly annoying this is, even without speed up. You see the struggle here? You really- Yes, this is 100% smart. And not annoying at all. I swear, Pokemon- some of the difficulty in Pokemon comes from the sheer frustration of playing the game. Like, like, okay, like, hear me out about this. Like, it's kind of like how older games were made, like, uh, that's not even a good comparison, but I'm saying that some, is that a lot of Pokemon's, like, difficulty and time you put into it is derived from the, um, from the sheer amount of, uh, gr grindiness, you know, like, it's not even necessarily a difficult game, you just have to grind the fuck out of everything. Okay, well, thank god. I feel like I was released. I was released from my- from my chains. For right now, though, I am curious. Um... Before I end this episode, I do kinda... I am curious about what Wormpole is. 
about what Lucky is. And Cujo, I'm not sure what level it evolves. I'm pretty sure it's like 32 or something, but I could be lowballing it there. Because something makes me want to say 32, but like, we'll, we won't know until next episode. But for right now, let's actually go, like, defeat a few Pokemon. We'll actually defeat one Pokemon, that's all it should take to push this over the edge. Or no. I'm gonna take a little bit more than that. Okay. Let's see what it evolves into. Oh? You know? I can't even be mad about that. That's pretty great, actually. Pretty content with that. Okay. Well, I guess it's about it for this episode. Um, I mean, there's really not much more to say. You know, we were we got a, quite a few encounters today. Um, <clears throat> and only one of them that we got that got away was my fault for thinking a Psyduck could live a Dragon Claw from a Golbat. But, um... You know, it's pretty solid right now. I mean, we have some, something to choose from. Honestly, I'm leaning towards Cujo being on the team. Because Dark and Fire are a type we have yet. But then again, um... It could evolve into anything, first of all. And second of all, uh... It's probably- it may not know any darker fire-type moves, but we will see about that. Um, I should actually head back to Veilstone real quick, because I don't want to have to waste time doing that next episode. And we'll just battle this chick real quick. Fuck off. Um, but I do actually need to use an HM slave. Thanks. 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 Fuck off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head back to Veilstone real quick because I want to get there so I'll be there next episode so I won't make the mistake of lo lollygagging and like heading into like, oh, heading into the rival fight immediately because that seems like something I would 100% do. Let me get there. Because, like, couldn't you guys see me knowing the type of person I am being like, What's up, everybody? Today we're gonna take on Crasher Lake. And then just totally getting blown back and destroyed and the Nuzlocke being over. Well, yeah, I think I actually feel content being here. And I'm gonna change this one back real quick. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, <laughs> this one was kind of a rough one. Uh, rough around the edges, uh, but... I'm gonna go get this edited right now, and uh, I'll have this out before midnight, hopefully, and if not, uh, it'll be slightly late. But, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay cool, peace out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!